County. We have impact on our My in Development agenda as spelled out in the My Manifesto, which I used to campaign. We have also done one major milestone since I got into office, and this milestone is the preparation of the County Integrated Development Plan. This plan actually incorporates uh, My Manifesto. Uh, it's a plan that uh, uh, has been um, well articulated through public participation in the 25 uh, wards of the Vega County. is predominantly agricultural approximately 85% of the population's livelihood depends mainly on the subsisted farming we are becoming integrated farming we've seen some birds this is our free range we have a brood we have 100 chicks now but uh, though integrated farming basically we are in fish farming and uh, particularly breeding got African catfish and tilapia. And then we have a training facility that can accommodate up to 50 trainees at a sitting. And so to the county government, to the national government, I've said this facility is open for them. For me, when it's lies idle, it hurts me. I wish it to be. Basically, Turiki Tropical Gardens of Farm is a full bamboo value chain center and we want to show uh, essentially what bamboo is from the time it is a seedling to the time you turn it uh, into a product. Our key focus now is uh, turning to the Lake Region uh, uh, Economic Development Block, which uh, our county, our native county, Vihiga, is a member. Our plan is to work with the administration of uh, Vihiga County to have a critical mass of bamboo grown in uh, riparian area, areas and our, and our hilltops like Paragoli Hills and encourage every family to at least have five clumps of bamboo in their compound. We are lucky that uh, we've had uh, our first meeting with the governor and the International Network for Bamboo and Rattan where we are having the International Network of Bamboo and Rattan together with Turiki Tropical Gardens and Farm train our Tibet instructors on the use of bamboo so that once we train the Tibet uh, uh, instructors they'll be able to pass this knowledge on to the students and so the students in our polytechnics will start doing work with bamboo they'll start bamboo processing at the Tibet level and so that means that the farmers will be growing bamboo will have already market within our Tibet and will be able to develop the skill. Wilson Munala, the county director of fisheries. Where we are standing is at Mwetwaka Fish Farm, which is owned by the county government, and it was started in 2010 with a number of ponds that were established as a start. This was a total of 10 ponds, and we have been operating with those 10 ponds for some time, until around 2013, when we decided to set up a fish hatchery. In the next one year or two years, we want to convert it into Mitoko fingerling production and farmers agriculture training center. Structures that farmers can come and learn from. These are in terms of modernity, in terms of how they can adopt new technology. We'll be demonstrating it here, apart from what we are doing, the core mandate of producing fingerling. Vihiga County is best known for its rich culture and hospitality. I have worked with the government of Kenya for over 30 years. I'm a director at Sosa Limited. So far, we have 
benefited quite a bit. And it's basically because funds are now being devolved to the counties. There are many people who are now looking towards the counties to do business, and I think we are on the right track. We also talk about what kind of accommodation the guests will have. We talk about what kind of food the guests will eat, and then what kind of visits, where do they visit when they come here. The issue of accommodation, we as a hotel, we can do, and we are trying the best we can. From 16 rooms, now we have 40 rooms, and we are trying as much as possible to keep them the standards they require. We have, of course, the common, uh, cottages, we have the suites, and now we are putting up 10 villas. So far, seven of them are operational for purposes of homestays. We have also urged the county government, and I, the governor has said any investor who wants to come and invest will provide land see the possibility where they can get us 50 acres so that on a public-private partnership we can be able to develop golf course. It's possible to we'll visit the place and golf tourism is becoming the trend nowadays. We have secured through the national government 1.7 billion shillings which are aimed to improve the water, water supply in Miga County. And this 1.7 billion water program is going to target Kaimosi, Mbale, and Majengo. And when it's complete, it's going to serve more than 270,000 people. The county is relatively connected to the national grid, but opportunities exist in diversifying the energy with focus on the renewable energy source that are reliably available in the county. Vihiga has a diverse skilled human resource since there is a wide range of direct and joint investment opportunities in this sector. Vihiga has a lot of stones and now we are working uh, in collaboration with the mining industry, mining industry. I have already given them uh, five acres of land and now they are doing feasibility study and the government from next financial year is going to build a granite factory. The county has set up a special economic processing zone in Kaimosi to promote manufacturing and steer industrial growth. Manufacturing is the key sector in Kenya's economy development and priority area in both its contribution to national output and exports and for job creation. This is what I'm giving a lot of um, emphasis. And to do this, I've created a fully fledged Department of Public Health and is going to more of the its work will be civic education because most of our people are suffering because of lack of knowledge. So I want to make sure that civic education on public health is number one. I've hired uh, one of the best uh, chief officers who is now going to um, steer ahead this program. At the county referral hospital in Bale, we want it to be actually a referral hospital where only from sub-county patients are referred there when they can't treat the disease at, at the sub-county. A fast rise in economic development, there is an increased demand for affordable housing and commercial building. We have plans to put up, to upgrade our roads to all weather in the whole county. Unfortunately, we have so much rain now. We have already started the program, and the program is being funded by Kenya Road Sport. We want to make all the roads all weather. We have identified roads that we would want to become bitumen standard. As I'm talking now, a road from Ekwanda to Luanda to Esirulo to Esibuye, is being there are 107 adult learning centers and 16 tertiary colleges in the county. However, enrollment in these polytechnics has become low. Job creation is very important to my government. 
And in this regard, education is very important. And we have identified that we are going to focus on technical and vocational training. We have embarked on putting up um, a TVET master, pro a master plan, a plan that will help us renovate all our youth for technics. We have about 31 youth for technics in the county. We want to renovate them and equip them with the modern machinery and then hire very qualified um, uh, instructors so that our youth can go to these uh, poor techniques where they will be trained in skills. They say sport is a way of life. Indeed, Vihiga County shines with all the stars, Vihiga United and Vihiga Queens, with their tremendous performance over the year in rising Vihiga County's flag high and above. The two teams have also been supported by the county government. As a country, we have been land banking and we are ready to avail land facilities to any serious investors who want to come on board.